Hi, I'm David, if you haven't watched before, and welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're going to talk about gas, or two specific points. One, it's the follow-on from the camper control piece where I'm just going to introduce you to the gas valve uh, replacement that allows you to control um, without needing to turn the tap off underneath. So we'll just talk about that a little bit. And also about the uh, flow gas fill-up keys and... Uh, how you can go about getting one of those if they have any in stock. So let's get cracking. Right then, let's start by having a look at the uh, gas valve. So, that, so this basically replaces the manual valve that's connected to the gasset uh, tank as standard. Um, if you're ordering one, if you're doing a self-build or whatever and fitting an underslung gas tank, you can actually order it pre-fitted with this um, mechanical electromechanical valve essentially um, just take that cardboard cover cover off there and you can see the uh, thread and the uh, thread lock there pop that back on and uh, basically this I'll get a gas professional to actually remove the manual one fit this electric one and then that connects through to this little device and it's something that I bought also from uh, Gasset the reason I bought it and didn't try and make it is it's a predefined solution. This was just over £60, so together for the two things, it worked out uh, about £100. Uh, but I think it's actually a useful purchase because I know then when I switch the power off um, to the van, I know the gas is actually safely isolated underneath then once that's actually fitted and installed. Uh, pretty simple to install. Uh, so I've connected a couple of um, fly leads on this, um, positive, negative, and then that's uh, the orange way is essentially to, to switch it, which needs a, a, a positive switch to make that uh, work. I'm obviously going to connect it to camper control. You wouldn't expect anything less, would you? And uh, what I'm going to do then is basically just put it so that when you power down the van, it'll switch off the gas, uh, but give the option so you can turn it on or off in different scenarios through uh, how you configure up camper control there. Uh, but you can actually just get this um, so you don't need camper control to actually get this and use it you can actually get it from gas it as a complete system um, that will work off a switch uh, with that replaces or, or use your existing switch depending on how it's set up when we come to install it we'll have a look and see uh, whether the switch that's installed in the cvs is actually suitable for direct replacement and again just a reminder not to mess on with um, gas stuff you don't want to be fitting this, this yourself and you know, cause some issues with warranty if so and so I'm quite comfortable um, post the kind of gas side of it getting it all, all up and running um, anyway let, let's just connect it up and I'll just give you a quick view um, more just to show uh, how it works so if I connect the positive lead to the positive of a battery and that has a fuse in line as well, just for safety. Of course, the negative leads to the negative line, which I've now done. And then if we just connect a positive voltage on, off, on, off. And you can hear actually when the uh, valve actuates there, you can hear that uh, it initially goes with, um, you know, kind of full power to switch it on and then just reduces that back. And the reason for doing that and the reason for that ultra low current device is, is, is quite simple, really. If you connected it up and just switched it um, directly and just had the solenoid running at um, full power, the main issue you're going to have is it draws a fair amount of power. So it's going to run your leisure batteries down if you're not connected up to mains hookup. I'd imagine it'll probably warm the solenoid up as well if you, um, you, know, you have it uh, full power all of the time. And what happens is once that initial switch has, has happened to open the gas, you don't need an awful lot of current to keep it open then compared to what you do need to to initially make the transition to open it up. So the ultra low current device, that, that little thing there is basically what uh, gases have made to actually create that initial inrush to open the valve. But then reduce the current consumption back so it doesn't uh, run your batteries down as you're using it. So 
that's uh, that's principally how that works so relatively straightforward again the full setup currently retails at about uh, 100 pounds i'll put a link in the description below um to the valve to the um solution and also the other bits you can get for it to uh, you, you know whether you want to upgrade your your little control panel I, I, again my use case is going to be using it with um camper control because it just makes complete sense but this is a also a, a standalone solution that uh, Gasset can supply if you just want the ability to turn your gas on and off more simply and just have the assurance that when it's switched off it's actually cut off at the tank so that's the reason for for getting that one and i'll look forward to showing uh, as, as we get it installed and i'll confirm back in a future video once the van arrives whether we can actually use the um, switch that's installed on there to actually actuate that to uh, give an idea on the complexity of fitment and how much change you need to make as a standalone item rather than a camera control item. So that's the gas low electric solenoid valve and ultra low current device. So there we go. So the next thing I wanted to talk to you about on the same theme of gas was um, it was made aware that you can actually get a, a, a key for the flow gas auto gas stations where you can actually fill up um use the key it's, it's essentially a self-service um set up uh, when you get the key it comes with some useful instructions uh, which explain um how to actually use the key how to operate the machine how to fill up the auto gas and how to do it safely so i'll pop that on full screen there and then if, if you want to just pause the uh, video you can get the information i'll also pop a link to it uh, below in the description as well uh, just in case you want to uh, grab that information and see what's involved in that i'll also put the details of how you go about getting hold of a key now when, when i got it they actually set up an account for you so you can actually go then and fill up and just pay it by direct debit um once you've actually got that and you get a security code and that sort of thing with your key just to make sure that you can securely transact with that um, it just gives a few more options on where you can get lpg um, essentially if, if, if you get stuck and obviously you can pick it up at um, you know some of the supermarkets uh, have it but uh, it doesn't seem to be quite as readily available as it was maybe um, two or three years ago but there's still plenty of places to get it but it just gives a few extra options you never know when you're going to need some lpg and it just gives that those extra stations that you wouldn't normally have access to and was pretty straightforward to uh, get set up there is a deposit for the key i think it was 10 pound but uh, check in the um, description below i'll make sure i've got the latest information when uh, when we post this um, video all within the description and the links off uh, if you would like to get one of those so that's just a, a very quick video on the gas valves um, or electrically operated gas valves um, that we looked at first off and then the flow gas key and the flow gas additional LPG filling stations which you may find uh, useful and helpful. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did enjoy it please give us a thumbs up um, or if you found it useful even even if you didn't enjoy it. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, we've got some great things coming up and uh, once we get the van we'll get all this stuff fitted and hopefully that shouldn't be too much longer now. And we've got coming up over the next week, we've got some giveaways for you as well. So um, special giveaways for our subscribers where you can enter a competition and you can win some stuff. And it's completely free to enter. So what you got to lose? Please tap that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.